Hey guys, it's Jeff and today we're talking about iOS 13.4. More specifically, some of the upcoming betas that we should be seeing from Apple, what we should be seeing in those betas and what Apple has promised to us in the past for iOS 13 and what we have yet to see from those promises. We'll also be taking a deeper dive into iOS 13.4 as a whole, because simply iOS 13.4 is likely the last major version of iOS 13 that is set to be released as we are moving on into iOS 14 betas very, very soon. So let's get into iOS 13.4 and what we should be expecting in the next couple of betas. This video is sponsored by MacPaw, the creators of Clean My Mac X. This is a program that I use almost every day to clean up junk files, protect my Mac from malware, and speed up my Mac to work like it did from day one. There's also a ton of other tools that you get with this program without any hassle whatsoever. So if you want to start the program I use for my Mac, check out the link down below to see more info and also to download it today. Okay guys, so if you were paying attention in last week's video covering iOS 13.4 developer beta one, you saw very few changes. There were some changes sprinkled here and there, but not really what we were looking for and not too major. Now, one of the more prominent changes that was made was made to the mail app. Of course, we got some mail app optimization in the background, but we actually got a UI change in that the toolbar on the bottom was changed. So that was the most notable with the mail app, but it definitely was a welcome change in the mail app for iOS 13.4 developer beta one. Now we also saw some changes to the uh, music app as well, some changes to how lyrics are displayed and also some changes to the UI uh, experience on uh, kind of like putting music in the queue and how uh, you're going to interact with that music in the future should you keep it or um, kind of remove it from the queue. So there was definitely some changes in the music app and I believe that a lot of you guys were looking for those changes because now the mail app or the music app operates a little bit more like Spotify, which is what everyone was looking for. Now, the third and most notable change that we saw within the first developer beta was the addition of Memoji stickers, which should have been a footnote to all of the new features that we were expecting in iOS 13.4 beta one, but nevertheless, we got new Memoji stickers. I personally love them. I'd like to know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below, but for many people, this wasn't a big change or addition. Now let's move on to some of the new features that we should have been seeing in iOS 13.4 and still want to see in the betas. Now the first thing is the FaceTime eye correction feature. This is a feature that a lot of people loved. It was actually present in the iOS 13 betas after WWDC 2019. And unfortunately it was taken away by Apple because it just had too many bugs and it wasn't ready for an official release. Apple said that feature would be coming back to iOS 13, but through iOS 13.1, 2, and 3, we haven't seen anything yet. So in iOS 13.4, this is a feature that we will be looking for. It seemed like it was almost ready in the iOS 13 betas, so I find it very hard to believe that Apple would just prolong that and kind of delay that feature to iOS 14 and kind of like have it as a headline feature because we've already seen and use it already. Now, the second major feature that we should be seeing within iOS 13 is based on Apple's promise of spam call detection. Apple did promise us a long time ago that we should be seeing in iOS 13 spam call detection. Now, this is like of the two, like FaceTime eye correction and spam call detection, I expect spam call detection to be delayed to iOS 14 and be premiered as a more headline feature. We've never actually seen it in the betas, like present in the betas or any indication that it's coming. So Apple is probably still working on this a little while longer. But spam call detection would be a great addition to iOS 13. We already have a kind of measure in iOS 13 of blocking unknown callers. But unfortunately for a lot of people that doesn't really work because maybe you're expecting a phone call from an unknown number and it's silence, it goes to voicemail, and then you have to play phone tag with that person. So for me, that's not the best feature. I know for others it is, but it's not really streamlined to the point where Apple has this really great method uh, that they're working on, which is like kind of a more official spam call detection. 
So guys, those are the new features that we should be seeing within iOS 13.4. If you have any like additional features that you want to see in iOS 13.4, definitely leave those in the comment section down below. I know a lot of you guys have been talking about a new color UI, kind of a different UI experience, but for those of you guys who are kind of like suggesting that, that will likely be coming in iOS 14 rather than iOS 13.4, especially since we're hearing that iOS 14 will be compatible with all the devices that we're seeing now that are compatible with with iOS 13. So guys, let's move on to another major topic when it comes to the betas and then the official release of iOS 13.4. That's performance. If you go on Reddit, our iOS beta, uh, basically you're seeing a lot more bugs than features uh, for iOS 13.4 beta one. All of these bugs definitely need to be worked on and fixed. Uh, I think that the performance gains uh, that we found in iOS 13.4 developer beta one definitely do not equal the amount of bugs that we're seeing in the first developer beta. So this definitely needs to be a point that Apple needs to focus on because bugs should not be present in official releases as they have in almost all of the releases of iOS 13 so far. So bugs definitely need to go. I think the next major feature that Apple needs to work on or the next performance feature that Apple needs to work on is battery life. There's been a lot of users out there that have been complaining about battery life and it's not because they have a bad battery, it's simply because the efficiency of the code in iOS 13 has been very inefficient and that is using like unnecessary battery life to kind of like operate your device. So this is something that Apple needs to focus on, just making their code a little bit more efficient and hopefully that will lead to better battery life in iOS 13.4 betas and then on to an official release. Now, the third and final thing performance wise that Apple definitely needs to work on is RAM management. It seems like in the past, RAM management has been an issue that has been fixed and then it just comes back. So I'm not sure exactly what the deal is. I'm sure it's a very complicated process to make RAM management work perfectly within a build of iOS, but Apple still needs to focus on this and not move on to iOS 14 when this is still an issue with iOS 13. So hopefully RAM management is fixed into the future of iOS 13.4. Now, why am I mentioning all this? Why am I putting so much focus on iOS 13.4? Well, for many users out there, iOS 13.4 is a very essential kind of update for them because it's the last update for their device. We don't have a compatibility list for iOS 14 yet. So for users out there that have that, that have like kind of like an older iPhone, this might be the last update for them and they will of course want it working as best as it can. Now, another major thing is not everyone updates to iOS 14 right away. Also, we have this long beta period throughout the summertime of iOS 14 and you'll be having to use some version of iOS 13.4 throughout that time period. So we want the best experience possible as we're testing iOS 14 um, because iOS 13.4 is still going to be there. So Apple definitely needs to put more of a focus on iOS 13.4 here and not drop the ball because user no, users are not having the best experience with iOS 13.4. It can definitely get a lot better. So guys, that is the upcoming kind of like expectations for iOS 13.4, what we should be seeing from these beta updates, and of course the official update coming very, very soon. If you have any suggestions on what you want to see, definitely leave those in the comment section down below. I actually do take a lot of those and put that in the feedback app just because everyone kind of like commenting and showing what they want is good for Apple to see because that gives them ideas on what they can fix or improve in their versions of iOS. So guys, thank you for watching this update video or kind of like a um, update video on the future of iOS 13.4. If you have any comments, questions, please comment those in the comment section down below. If you like the video, definitely give it a like. Also get subscribed and hit that notification bell button if you want to stay up to date with any future update videos of iOS 13.4 or moving on into iOS 14. So again, guys, thank you all for watching and hopefully I'll be catching you in some upcoming content.